Activision turned the robot wrangling reins over to High Moon Studios for last year's Transformers War for Cybertron, and the result was arguably the best game based in the series. With Transformers Dark of the Moon, the same studio's back in the cockpit, delivering more bot-blasting action and a supporting prequel story that's not restricted by the upcoming movie script. Stay alert! Mix Master is close! How close? This close! Not that many will care, Dark of the Moon's narrative is about as deep as a slab of sheet metal. Tackling seven chapters, each starring a different robot in disguise, players encounter a variety of gameplay challenges encompassing driving, flying, stealth, and of course, ranged and up-close combat. Bumblebee, if you take damage, seek cover until you repair. That robots can effortlessly morph from bot to vehicle and back again, as well as take on a new stealth force form which basically combines the two. The result is essentially a more heavily armed vehicle form that, despite the inevitable protests of purists, adds a welcome strategic dimension to the game. Despite getting our trigger fingers and pulses pounding in time, Dark of the Moon is far from perfect. Its often bland, linear levels lack the polish of War for Cybertrons, and the action, while fast-paced and fun, will feel familiar and formulaic to anyone who's played a Transformers game before. The campaign's also pretty short, though it's complemented by some play-extending multiplayer modes. The online content, which offers a handful of maps and a small selection of challenges we've seen in countless other games, is by no means groundbreaking, but given how well the bots handle, it's hard to argue that it doesn't work. You guys go on ahead. I'll cover the rear. Stop that launch! Dark of the Moon provides plenty of popcorn thrills that you'll likely forget as soon as the credits begin rolling. Judged against other movie games, it's actually pretty good. Next to last year's superior entry, however, it looks a bit like a tin can. We finally turned the tables on the Decepticons.